Hello, in this tutorial, we will learn how to create our first Verge3D web application and prepare it for the next development. So, let's say you already installed Verge3D correctly. If you did so, then you will have this menu right on top. The first item is export to GLTF format. Verge3D needs GLTF format to work with your models and textures, etc. correctly. Next item is a quick preview of your 3D scene in browser. Next item launches App Manager, where you can manage all your Verge3D applications. The next item is Export Options. We will talk about these options in next tutorials, when we will need them. Next, we have a checkmark auto assign Verge3D params, which will automatically assign Verge3D options on your models. And last but not least, we have user manual. Alright, first of all, let's launch the app manager. If you are launching app manager for the first time, you will see this menu. Here you can set App Manager theme and set the folder which will contain all your applications that you will be working with. If you will leave everything by default, just like I did, Verge3D will create a folder in Documents and all of your applications will be there. As we don't have any applications yet, we don't see anything. So, let's create our first app. Let's press Create New App and let's call it Swiss Army Knife. Then let's press Create App. Alright, we created our first here you can see the application name. Next, there are working files for this application. The first file is an HTML file. Basically, that is the application. If we launch it now, we will see this default scene with the cube. It is a template for any new application. Next is the GLTF file. This is your 3D file, so all the models, the texture, the animations, all is contained here. And if we press it, we will see the same scene with the cube. Next, we have max file, which we export from. And on the right, we have operations puzzles. The first is edit puzzles. It opens the Puzzles Editor. Let's launch it. Here are the logic blocks that we will be working with while creating interactivity for our application. The next button is Open Application Folder. If we press it, the folder will open and we will see all the files that our application needs. The next button is for publishing your app on Verge3D network. Then there is a button to update this exact application. You will need it if, for example, you downloaded a new Verge3D version and you want to update your application to this version. And the last button is to delete the application. Ok, let's open the max file, which was created as a template and look at what is inside. And again, here we see this default cube that we saw in HTML file and GLTF file. And of course we don't need it, let's delete it. Now let's add the geometry that we actually need, the Swiss knife. For that, let's import it, merge, then select the file with our geometry, all and OK.
And now as we have our geometry, let's take a sneak peek in a browser. And yep, it works right away. We can see the knife, the Swiss army knife in browser. Now let's go back and export it to GLTF format. Let's go back to our application folder. Then select Swiss Army Knife GLTF. Then press save and yeah, we want to replace it. Now back to App Manager, let's launch our application. Ok, now instead of a cube, we have the knife that we just exported. But it still lacks textures. Let's put all the texture and extra files into the application folder. Here are all the files, we need all of them except the 3ds max file, we already have it. Let's copy them here. Alright, let's save it. And that's it. See you in the next tutorial.